going on family it is your girl thick chick vlogs here with the juice man i decided to come back on here because youtube decided that they wanted to delete my motherfucking video last night talking about um i violated community rules or whatever but that's a motherfucking lie because all i did was get on here and talk about um what the fuck happened on the sex tape it ain't like i got on here and uploaded a goddamn sex tape but anywho i digress but i'm about to get on here now because i like like i read the community guidelines goddamn it and y'all say i can say whatever the fuck i want to say therefore therefore Therefore, right? Mm -hmm. I'm about to voice my opinion, get a game, okay? And as I said, shout out to Lowe's and Home Depot, get a game, because um, they motherfucking stocks when they go up on them shower rods. What you think about that, Vay? Oh, yeah, she was hanging off that. I mean, that, 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 that's, that's a strong shower rod. Now, uh, 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 Hosseline Hernandez was throwing, kind of throwing shade at Mimi for a minute, talking about, you know, granny porn or whatever. But to be brutally honest, she, she really wasn't boring. She really, she really did her thing in that video. But what I can honestly say is, um, I, I think Mimi a little bit thirsty right now. Cause number one, you cannot get your ass on Love and Hip Hop, be calling Hosseline Hernandez all kind of hoes and slept buckets and all this stuff and cum guzzlers. When you own, you, and not only that, okay, even if y'all sit there and say that y'all didn't uh, hire a film crew, it, it it was either one or two things. Y'all either had a tripod in that motherfucker or it was a third party. No, I wasn't no tripod. The camera was moving. The camera exactly. don't move itself. That's why I say it was either a tripod or a third party, but I'm leaning more toward the third party uh, type of the, you know, part of the, the, the spectrum. That was a professional porn. Right. Now, I've watched many, uh, many, many of a porn <laughs> movies. <laughs> I consider myself a connoisseur. Shut up. A porn. But that was a professional porn movie. Right. A lot of people saying Mimi's sex tape and all that stuff. That wasn't no sex tape. A sex tape is like, a, you know, some ghetto type shit where you got your cell phone and you got it up. And y'all, you know, your, 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 your cell phone moving just like you moving or you got some, you know, got it propped up on some shit. But no, I mean, they had the, the, the lighting and I mean, th that was like. A uh, 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 top of the line camera looked like they had the perfect light, like they had those, you know, those umbrella lights and shit. Yeah. They had some, uh, they had some professional type things going on up in there. But you know, like I said, true enough, Mimi can do whatever the hell she wants to do, but she can't sit there and come out talking about, you know, that's something they did in the comfort of their own home. Negative, because number one, y'all got a y'all got a title to the shit, scandal in Atlanta. Scandal in Atlanta. Not only that, you got your um your little cover where you you know got your little you know sexy face on and Nico <laughs> back there looking like a motherfucking fool. Like I said, Mimi, I really I hope you're not doing this shit to get back at uh 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 Stevie. Okay, hope you're not doing it to get back at Stevie because if you are, you are a damn fool. Because number one, you have a daughter, and I understand that you know uh everybody makes mistakes and everything like that, but this is one no damn mistake. You are actually releasing this. I think you thirsty. What's your opinions on this whole situation? Um, my only opinion is whoever that doctor was that did that boob job. Good old you. <laughs> now, I, I, shout out for real. Shout out to Mimi. She has a great body. She has a great body. Don't get me wrong. But like I said, I, I really think because you know she was trying to portray herself on Love and Hip Hop as a um. You know, classy lady and you know how she talks shit about hustling and all this type of stuff. I mean, but you can't talk shit about nobody right now, Mimi. No. I mean, you really can't talk shit, shit about anybody because you you look like a hoe right now your damn self. I mean, yeah. true enough, you made the video with your... Hold on. True enough, you made the video with your man. Okay, I can't say a hoe, but you can't... Once you put this sex tape out, people aren't going to look at you... Like the same Mimi. Like, you're not going to walk around here. You know, people were gaining respect for you. They was feeling sorry for you because they felt like, you know, Stevie was uh kind of, you know, dogging you out. And they felt like you was being a woman about it. And you was moving on with your life and all this stuff. And, you know, that, that's how we were looking at you. And we were looking at you like, you you know, you you the classy lady. And, you know, uh, Jocelyn was kind of like the, you know, the stripper hoe and all this stuff. And she a home record. That's how we was looking at the situation. But now, like I said, to me, and like I said, this is my personal opinion, ain't nothing that I'm saying law. Like I said, right now, it looks to me like you thirsty. Like I said, I don't know if you're trying to get back at Stevie. I don't think she's trying to get back at Stevie. I think she's trying to make money. I think she's trying to make money, too, but damn. I mean, was there no other kind of... Motherfucker, start sell some hair. Nigga, you live in Atlanta. Open up you a hair store. Sell some clothes. I mean, I mean... 
So, so do you think that was a proper way for her to try to make money, especially by her having a how old her daughter is, one or two, something know. like that, no, like I two years old. Older than that, I think she might be about four. Well, yeah, five. she about four, four, about four years old. But my thing is this: okay, this girl from the start, kids nowadays, goddamn, they know about everything. And when I say they know about everything, I'm not saying the kids her age, but when she gets to a certain age, I mean, especially by her mom being Mimi Foss in there in Atlanta, you know, kids are going to talk. They're going to goddamn be in the classroom. No kids now, they got seven. They're going to be in the classroom passing the damn phone around. Look at her mom. Look at her mom. Look at her mom. You know, like, I, I just, I feel some type of way about that. But like I said, that's just me. Mm-hmm. Like that's it. But he said he went to work last night. Were y'all talking about that shit at work? Um, we we watched it at work. The forty five minute clip. Forty five. I mean forty five second. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, I'm, and, 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 I, was, I, I searched for some, you know, like a leak. Of yeah, they they don't have the leak out yet. But um, I was listening to the Steve Harvey, not Steve Harvey. What's that? Ricky Smiley morning show this morning, and Gary with the T. He was on there talking about yeah. Gary with the T. Mm. But anyway, he was on there talking about it and he was basically saying everything that I'm 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 saying to myself. Now he said he go, <laughs> he I, I hope he was trying kind of being funny, but he said somebody asked him, Well, what is she gonna tell her daughter when her daughter gets to a certain age? She starts asking her question, like, Well, mama, why the hell did you put that out there? You know. He's talking about she gonna say, Well, hell, we was hungry. Shit, I, I had to feed your little ass, your daddy, you know, took me off the bus, kicked me off the bus and everything, so I had to make a little bit of money. And but she hell, kicked herself off the bus. But hell, all these stuff that Stevie J supposedly are trying to, you know, was handing her and stuff and loving hip hop. What the hell you do with that? I mean, is she really gonna make that much money off of this? Yeah. How you figure? I think. I mean, she gonna she gonna she gonna make some money off of it. But the crazy thing about it is though, when G, you said Mimi, I was like, dang, is a sex tape? Is a real sex tape? She's naked. Hey, I, you know, if I can't find the leak, I would buy. It. But okay. My thing is this: I got all I needed out of that forty-five second clip. No, that I was, mean you want that was like a teaser. What? That was like a teaser. I don't know, but personally, personally, I think that um, it's going to be bad for her in the long run. Like right now, granted, she's going to make a little bit of money off it, but like I said, once you put something on the internet, it's on the internet, and it's on the internet for. Ever. Ever. So I don't give a damn how many times you delete it. It's going to be there. Somebody got it. It's going to be there. That's just, that's just like people, these celebrities who tweet out shit like they'll be cussing another celebrity out of their tweet out a naked picture and then they'll delete that shit like 30 seconds later. But before you know, it's like thousands of people that screenshot of the shit. Like Chris Brown do that shit all the time. He'll post some shit on that and he'll delete it five seconds later. Nigga, five million people that already screenshot of that shit. Look at all them, look at all them followers you got. I mean, nigga, please. They waiting for you to fuck up. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end this, and I just want to say, Mimi, you didn't fucked up, but uh, you know, cha ching to you, cha ching for a little while. But um, I hope that it was worth it, and you know, I, I'm not gonna discredit Nico. He was he was doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? He, the the gay rumors will be they're not gonna be uh uh, uh deleted, but they'll they'll be put off, put on hold for a little while. But you you know, that don't mean you ain't a little you know get your little booty every now and then. That don't mean you like the, you don't like the back though. That just means this particular day you want a little bit of the front though. Okay, and you too. Fuck you. To leave my goddamn video. And it right back. Yeah. I love you, you too. You did your thing, Mimi. Holla. I enjoyed it.